Good day guys, Sci-Fi back again with another action figure review. Just a fairly quick one, but a very odd one too, the one I've been looking for. Um, when I was paying off my Shaw Trooper at Zing Pop Culture, one of my stores just around the corner here, I found this, so I've been throwing money at it for the last couple of weeks. Um, yeah, Boba Fett and Han Solo and Carbonite. Now, ever since uh, 2013, I think it was the Star Wars Celebration at Essen in Germany. This was a release and very hard to come by. Holy crap, I'm getting a ton of sun in here. Go away. Fuck. Anyway, so, so these guys are now making a resurgence. Oh man, I've picked the worst time in the world to bloody film this. Anyways. Afternoon suns, just come in and ruin my video. But that's cool. I'll keep filming. We'll get some decent shots. There we go. Anyway, so yeah, so um, for some reason these are making a resurgence online and in stores. So here we go. Um, I'm just saying, yeah. So if I paid one hundred and eighty-eight dollars for this in the box and all that. There's no San Diego Comic-Con logo for 2013. Um, but then again, my 2015 uh, Force Awakens Trooper, New Order Trooper, did not have a logo either. So, I could call this a San Diego Comic-Con figure, or I could not, but I won't. There you go, there's the box, unlike other Black Series boxes. How cool is that? It's been handled quite a bit and there's lots of fingerprints I could not remove. It's got the tag, the label, all the Fett's ultimate helmets design on there. On the back, Boba Fett and Han Solo and Carbon, the notorious bounty hunter Boba Fett prepare, prepares to deliver the carbon frozen Han Solo to Jabba the Hutt. He's no good to me, dead. Could have said that in a Kiwi accent, and that would have really pissed some people off. Yeah, there we go. 2013 Hasbro. Proof of purchase. No San Diego Comic Con. No celebration from Essen in Germany, which is where I first saw it. So yeah, there we go. What do you reckon? Anyways, let's go to the figures. Oh, before then, quick there. This is what how it comes in. There's your pack there, it is stored. Nice looking, mentions the names of the guns. E3 Blaster Rifle. Blast Tech, EE3 Blaster Rifle, which I'll talk about later. And a, it's called Sacros K11 Disintegrator Pistol. Now, someone else has just done a video recently of Boba Fett, um, Black Series N. He didn't know the name of the, his sidearm. Uh, I called it a West Star Blaster. That's not true. I was wrong. Um, the uh, Sacros K11 Disintegrator. The West Star was um, Django Fett's sets of pistols. And then, of course, Jet. Fuck this sun. Yeah, you want light and then you don't want light. So, there. Yeah, modified Z6 Jetpack. Primary transportation. Not bad. <coughs> right, so. Yeah, so I was wrong about the West Stars. His dad carried them. There we are. Not bad. Nice weathering, nice paint job. Um, the blaster, I'm a bit, I've got a problem with it. Not an issue, a problem. Um, yeah, the butt of the rifle, I can't hook it in so it's hard. I'm, I'm just going to have to manipulate the hands and whatnot because it looks like it's bent as all hell see that that's not cool uh, yeah fabric cape looks good nice weathering on the helmet yeah it's a good figure um, what else the Wookiee braids my god that's a problem I can fix that be brown and not 
a little bit of a yellowy thing at the end and whatnot, and I don't know. Not all into Boba Fett lore, but I, was, I thought they were all brown. Still, not bad. Decent standability. Um, articulation, not bad. The head, when I first pulled it out, it's like a bloody bobble head. Must have the tiniest little um, ball hinge in there. But still, I like it. It's great. Fantastic. It's not too happy with that rifle, but I will sort it out. It's a problem, not an issue. <clears throat> okay, going to hand Solo in his carbonite. Yep. No maneuverability, posable or whatever. Just looks cool. Came with some stands. <clears throat> easily sorted. Very easily sorted. And came with this. There was no instructions, but yeah, I figured it out. Too easy, put two of those in there. And if you really want to, and this would be cool if you've got lots of Black Series figures, a um, couple of Stormtroopers, they didn't make a Bespin 6 inch, you slot that in there, and then you got him hovering like that. Dead Captain Solo to my ship, sort of thing, whatever the hell he says, I forget. Yep. So that'll be cool, but yeah, great display especially for my <clears throat> yeah my bounty hunters and whatnot I've only got Jabba and not much else I really wish they would make more bounty hunters I know there are some available and I'm kicking myself for not picking up a few because they're going up in price so yeah speaking of this box set holy dooly um, eBay some eBay sellers, more like Sleaze Bay, of course, as my friend calls it, goes for, you know, the top price I found was for 580 bucks plus postage. The lowest price I found was over about 220 plus postage. So yay, Zing Pop Culture. 188 thank you very much. I'll take it without postage. So, and there is another box available there. Um, guys live in the ACT, call them up, ACT Australia that is, and they'll get you a set. That's as cheap as I can find it. Boba Fett on his own, otherwise you're looking at 30, 40, 50 American dollars on the old, in the old box. So yeah, comparisons, I'll just quickly go and, <coughs> there we go, whoops, I want to get his little bit of blue tack, he's a bastard to stand. Got it. That's an old legacy Set 2000, I think it's Legacy or Power of the Force, I don't know. Looks good, but again, that damn bloody rifle. The butt of the gun is too long and bends, not as bad as that. Still, looks not bad. Not bad at all. Um, the rifle has got some really nice markings on it. See there at the butt of the rifle? This is just one uh, black plastic mold, no colour or whatever no pistol yeah, fabric cape and it's been intact this one it's not too bad it's got a bit of frayed edges on it and I was looking at um, one of Victoria's Cantina figures and some of her the Tuscan Raider Black Series figure, yeah, the phrase are bad. But anyway, <clears throat> it's not a bad box set. Is it worth 180 bucks? Well, compared to some of the others out there, yes. Could it have been better? Let me fix that damn gun up. Um, about a year back, I think I made a video. My son bought a sideshow Boba Fett. That is second to none. That's the best version I've ever seen. Better than Hot Toys, better than anything. But anyways, I will... <coughs> I can't... I'll also do some other comparisons to the original Boba Fett. And sadly, I haven't got the original Boba Fett. But I got one... Fairly close. 
Big bad, as bad as it gets. That's the original Star Wars Boba Fett. That I picked up, I mean, this is back when Empire Strikes Back figures were coming out before the movie, and I thought it only had Star Wars, didn't have Empire Strikes Back. My, my brother bought Bosk in a Empire Strikes Back car, but I went, no, who's this dude? But of course it didn't include that, because that never happened. This is a what if card, but yeah, there we go. Of course, none of the redeeming features compared to the stuff we have today. But of course, vintage is just, that's vintage. And brings me back to an old days when I used to collect the old stuff. Back when I was a kid, 40 years ago, nearly, nearly 40 years for me, starting my collection. Anyways, so there we go, that's my Boba Fett, that's all I've got, got no other Boba Fetts, got a few Jangos, but no. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed, um, got a few Rogue One Next Wave figures coming my way in the post, cost me a fortune more in the post than on the pegs. And also, Davy3, there will be a video up for you, mate. My subscriber's choice will be up soon. That's about all the time I've got now. Uh, a few other things to do. So, I hope you guys are doing well. Catch up with all your videos. So, cheers for watching. All the best. The Force is with you. Always.